Hey everybody. So this is going to be looking at an operating system that y'all probably may have never messed with before, depending on where you're located. So this is 107 Home Basic. No, this isn't 107 Starter. It's not 107 Home Premium. It's actually 107 Home Basic. So in the United States, in particular, 107 Home Basic was not a version of Windows that you would find uh, pre-installed on computers and generally you couldn't find it for sale as retail or OEM copies either. 107 Home Basic was intended for emerging markets, kind of like previous versions of Windows under the starter name like Windows XP Starter and Windows Vista Starter so, for example, in Windows Vista in particular, Microsoft decided to split the operating system into multiple different versions, ranging from Windows Vista Starter, Windows Vista Home Basic, Windows Vista Home Premium, Windows Vista Business, Windows Vista Ultimate, and Windows Vista Enterprise. In Windows 7, we had, of course, Windows 7 Starter, which, unlike previous versions of Windows, Starter in Windows 7 was intended for um, more than just emerging markets. It was intended for um, use on netbooks. So once the RTM release of Windows 7 was released, Windows 7 Starter ended up being pre-installed on netbooks. And unlike older versions of Starter, it did not have a limitation of three programs. Since Windows 7 Starter ended up being pre-installed on netbooks, Windows 7 Home Basic ended up being the operating system version for emerging markets. So comparing Windows 7 Home Basic to Windows 7 Home Premium, here are some key differences. So Windows 7 Home Basic, you can only install up to 8 gigabytes of physical memory, whereas in Home Premium you could install up to 16 gigabytes. Windows Arrow is partially Windows 7 Home Basic, unlike Home Premium, which is full Arrow. Home Basic did not come with built-in DVD decoders. Does not support multi-touch. Does not have Windows Media Center. Does not have Windows Media Player Remote Media Experience. No premium games, and like Windows 7 Starter, only support to join home groups, not create or join like you can in Windows 7 Home Premium. So, if we have a look around here, you can see that, and of course this is a clean install. The only thing I did to this was install drivers and I believe SP1. So if we look here, you can see that we have Service Pack 1 installed and it's Windows 7 Home Basic. And you can see how the windows are not transparent. That was the semi-error effect that you would get in, or, or the partial one is error effect that you'll get in Home Basic um, in Windows Vista. So now the uh, theme in Home Basic, um, I believe the starter version of Windows 7 had a very similar, if not identical, theme. Not sure if the buttons up top were exactly the same. It's been a while since I've ever even messed with um, Starter. But for example, um, you can see again we don't have transparency. That was not available in this version of Windows. And of course, um, it appears that it also appears that um, personalization options are not available because I do believe in, like for example, Home Premium, you can right click and you would get the option to personalize. Uh, along with your stream and uh, your screen resolution but you can see here we just have the option for your screen resolution and if we go to all control panel items you can see that well it's pretty much we have the option to adjust resolution and size of text I do not see personalization options in here, so it appears to be something that we do not have in Home Basic. So, Home Basic does not have a 
program limitation like for example I'll launch a few things here WordPad for example So we do have some basic games here. So you can see we can launch a few different things here and well there's no apparent limitation of the maximum programs you can have open so it's like it's really similar to Windows Vista Home Basic just to keep it simple. You can see we don't have Windows Media Center. We do however have Windows Media Player. So for example, if I just set this up here. This is of course the Windows Media Player that you can still use in Windows 11, known as Windows Media Player Legacy. So yeah, it's a very basic version of Windows. Let's see if we can set, change the desktop background. So yeah, we can change the desktop background, okay. So again, you can you can definitely make out the basic um, theme there. So for example, yeah, it does appear that personalization, unless I'm just totally missing it, it does appear that personalization options are very, very stripped down in basic. You do have get, uh, desktop gadgets available in this. You have very, just like I say, very basic options for your display. You can change the resolution. You can adjust the size of the text. You can change the desktop background. So we change it back to the original photo. You can change the color scheme. Okay, this is what I was looking for. So, yeah, this is like right here. This is normally like what you would get. Let's hit apply on that. Okay, so this is the style of a window you would get, like for example, if your graphics drivers are not installed. So yeah, this is the very basic um, theme, which this might be the one that's in 7 Starter. And of course, it's called um, Standard. The default theme is actually called Standard. And I think I remember this being the case with Windows Vista as well. So. Again, not really too much to show you here. It's Windows 7 Home Basic. Again, it was not available on computers in the United States or North America in general. Now, of course, in Windows Vista, Vista Home Basic was available on much on cheap end computers and stuff like that. But of course, with Windows 7, um, if it wasn't like a netbook, you generally would be getting Windows 7 Home Premium. So, anyways, that wraps up for this video. Now is a look at Windows 7 Home Basic. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we get notified new video posts. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. And share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Comp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for your support.